slightly more important part is this part where they say wild totems are going to get be discontinued and star force enhancement is going to be made cheaper now these things together make sense though i don't think these two things are related in terms i don't think the second part will be seen as a solution to the first thing whatsoever i'll just re read it through it pretty quickly uh but they say uh how many would like to provide a status a status update status update regarding wild totems uh which many of you have been curious about since our adjustments to kana's kishin shokan skill as previously mentioned in the maple memo we made adjustments to the kishin shokan skill to align with the overall the overall direction of the game by changing the spawn enhancing effects from the skill to a 10 percent additional exp effect i think changing the overall direction of the game this is as much as an explanation we're going to get i think um in the same way, with Kishin Shokan skill changes, Star Force enhancement costs were reduced by 20% in cumulative enhancement costs based on the 24 star enhancement. Yeah, basically it was a little bit more if because only the costs were reduced past 15. So essentially, I think it came down to a 22% reduction past 15 stars, which was about a 20% across the board. Uh, as you can see, that spawn enhancing effects had a large role in meso acquisition, and, well, and just in progress, right? I'm able to alleviate the difficulty of the transition by reducing the cost in the area where most mesos are spent by players. Um, well, I mean, we we are able to make our money with the um, through bossing quite a lot now, right? So that that you know that blow of like losing a lot of income wasn't as big with people having six months to transition over into making bossing mules and then able to just hop on that train and just switch over. With the same amount of time that most people would be farming mezzo on a kana they could make um somewhere between 1.5 to two times as much money with the crystals um so it wasn't like a really big nerf for those people but they did have to make a huge investment first into bossing mules in alignment with those changes with kitchen shook on skill effect wild totems will be discontinued in the up next upcoming update so two things there i think are weird one is that we're hearing this only now it's a little late we had more you know advanced notice that julieta was being removed and monad than totems which is weird to me because the reason that the other stuff is being removed is because it's dead content but then they give us more notice on that than on something that's this important that's a weird thing to me and the second thing is they always said like oh totems are just not going to work past 300 that to me felt and i assume to a lot of you guys kind of felt like they were probably then going to work until 300 right so you know that's a long time maybe <laughs> maybe they didn't realize how long of a time that is that 300 is maybe they would be like oh yeah until 300 and then they looked at how much exp you actually need and actually looked at an exp curve and were like wait that's a long time maybe we should get rid of them earlier so those are two like a little bit of incongruencies i i guess i would say uh as we've done when skill kishin shokan uh was changed to no longer provide spawn enhancing effects we will further reduce star force enhancement costs uh by an additional 20 percent when discontinuing wild totems so again i don't think that's mainly the 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 focus of course a lot of people's worries i think now probably the most founded worry is are we going to be training in maps and just kill everything and then sit then sit there for like 10 seconds wait for the monsters to come back and then kill them all again that will definitely happen if you're staying in the same maps where you are now where you can basically watch anime while you're grinding um your rates will take a hit but not as much as you think because you're, we're going to have to start training in different maps larger maps um and the map meta won't be as rigid uh more maps will be meta but probably you'll have more uh class specific meta maps so we'll no doubt be looking at what kms is doing and just copy their map meta <laughs> uh because the main thing we have is we're stronger and we have two ranks of attack speed higher but when it comes to training maps we will probably essentially just copy what they're doing <clears throat> or you know maybe some of you adventurous types will uh, find your own stuff that you can do um but yeah the 20 percent uh cost is uh is a nice nerf i guess but um to the cost so a nice buff for us i guess i should say but i don't think that's necessarily going to address the main brunt of people's issues so yeah next point uh so we also made some changes made to the fairy bros daily gift rewards so we finally do get those changes but they're just coming instead of wild totems which is you know probably not the changes we were looking for to get that mega burninator 
Uh, and of course, yeah, a lot of people probably can't even use Mega Burninators anymore. A lot, a lot of people had 8k uh, Legion and stuff. Can barely even use Terra Burninators. But there doesn't seem to be any alternative in the daily login for people who already have that. So that's a, that's also a little bit of a, a downside. But to the people who still can use them, it's great, of course. But it's one per month, you know, so not insane. Uh, and then day 10 and 19 uh, will provide double EXP coupons, f half hour coupons, thank God, not 15 minute coupons, uh, times two. So discontinuation of the wild totems is currently scheduled to be implemented with the November update tentatively scheduled for November 16th. So that's already really close. That's just over three weeks away. Wild totems that are already in players pri inventory prior to the November update will remain usable with their current functionality until the item expires. Any wild totem coupons without an expiration date will be usable until December 31st, 2022. I didn't even know those existed, but maybe as compensation for people losing them or something, sometimes they'll give coupons like that. Um, so yeah, you can still buy all of them out for this month and then buy them all out in November as well, but then that'll be your last batch that you can get. So, you know, if you have a second account from way back to PC meta, maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, get some totems on there for this month and for next month. And then you can use those totems to get your, um, your hyper burn up to 250 in the lower level areas, because your character is probably not going to, that character is probably not, <laughs> not going to be able to get into 260 and 265 and 270 areas to level your main up. But um, yeah, other than that, that's going to be the move. So yeah, I guess I would have liked to see more detail on the overall direction of the game. Um, I guess we can read this to see if there's more specific detail on there, but um, they said here lag and server stability. So maybe totems did have a negative on the you know game stability that's possible but uh, the stress the skill was causing on the server yeah is it really skill stability i feel like the game has been quite stable uh, as of late of course since the, with the recent i think two most recent updates we've seen some more dcs but it's still at a very low amount compared to you know like a year or, or more ago uh, the game has been in a Sorry, state in the past. I think it's been really good over the last six months or so. 64-bit client definitely uh, seems to be part of that. Um, but yeah, effectiveness, negative communication, game balance. Yeah, negative. Um, I wanted to gather more data. Did you change the action with the line? Overall health and direction of the game while considering feedback from players. Blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's just also vague. So he's been made considering the health of the future game environment and new player experiences. We need to adjust other kind of skill. So it's just really, it's just really vague. I'd like to see them actually address like what is that overall direction and what is the main reason why this is seen as like a solution and what is the problem that was identified that this was the solution for. That would be cool to see. And then the second question I would have is like why you know, the shorter advance notice on this versus that content that you're removing, which is like big deal. Cause that those answers could, uh, or that information could already answer a whole bunch of questions that we might have. Right. So, yeah. I guess that's my main um, that's my main thoughts considering all of that. And I oh, now I messed up my setup for my Rage Shadow Legends Ultra Nightmare boss, dude. Now I'm not gonna, not now I'm not gonna one key it. Damn, misclicked. So yeah, um, we were talking about the 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 consequences and everything. I think it'll be an exciting time. A lot of new maps, new map metas to figure out. Probably we'll look a lot at Korea, copy that, go from there and then see what works for whom. For who? For whom? I don't fucking know. For which classes? There we go. Avoided it. Um, as in terms of like upgrading based of it, I think equips and everything will probably be fine. The problem will be um, the perceived the actual slowing down and, and how much you perceive yourself slowing down progressing for a lot of people the speed of progress is their primary goal so that will 
that will have to take a hit and for some people that will be too much for some people it will be okay uh the second thing is items and progress in the game that is 100 percent linked to monsters killed is going to be a bit more rough so we're thinking about like nodes for example and um and familiar specifically those two systems are going to suffer even more and everything connected to that as well so that's going to be something where you have to think about um, how that's going to affect the long-term planning. But yeah, either way, I think, you know, it would be cool to know those details on why they picked it. Because it's always easy to say like, oh, this is a shit thing. Um, because if they stay as vague as like, oh, this is good. This is because of our overall direction that we have an idea for. If they really can identify that and explain that better, then you could think like, oh, if that's what you want to achieve, then yeah, this is probably a good thing you can still be unhappy with it but at least you can be okay with the reasoning right on why they're doing it but now you can just now since we don't have that you could just be extra upset <laughs> at, at it happening because there's not really any kind of feedback on why why they built that so it'd be cool if you got that but other than that yeah i don't see any huge issues in the future i guess everything just going on continuing as planned although project 10k legion is probably not happening <laughs> probably not happening ever or, you know, for me, I don't know how you personally guys would be affected. Like for me, I need a lot of stuff actively working and on at the same time to feel like it's a good thing for me to go train. And if totems are not there, I will probably train less, <laughs> uh, probably quite a lot less. I already have trouble motivating myself with totems, uh, but maybe because totems are gone, Maybe now because all time is the same, maybe it'll be different. A little bit of the FOMO gone, you know, needing to buy all those totems, needing to use them all. I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about the the changes, but uh, of course your inherent reaction is probably going to be like, "What the fuck?" Um, you know, my rates. Uh, I definitely had that first initial response as well. But you know, all in all, it's not the end of the world, right? Right. So I think we're cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and. Um, I'll see you in the next one, I guess. All right.